Welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Um, this video, I want to briefly introduce authentication and uh, authorization. Um, I've thought uh, how to better introduce the following videos a lot yesterday and uh, keep thinking should I introduce architecture first like authentication flow or authorization flow first or should I introduce the configuration first eventually I decided just to give you um, brief ideas how uh, authentication and authorization uh, they are and uh, how we configure them and uh, then I will in introduce the architecture, which is the authentication flow. How actually Spring Security do the authentication and the authorization for us? Okay. Um, so for this video, uh, you will see mm, uh, not very deep. Okay. <laughs> But don't worry, I will uh, introduce others, which is uh, go through the security code, the Spring security code. Okay. So first, let's talk about the two things, authentication and uh, authorization. <clears throat> um, authentication uh, is uh, to confirm the truth of uh, credentials like we uh, very simple example is uh, we uh, use a website and we have to log in and we have to provide the username and password and the authentication is to confirm the username password you um, provide uh, match the database is the correct ones okay basically uh, authentication is to prove uh, who uh, who you are uh, who are you uh, the one you uh, what what should I say what, um, which means you declare you are the person and authentication is to prove you are the person you declare okay and the authorization is um, <clears throat> after we um, confirmed uh, you are the one okay uh, you declared and then what kind of things you can do okay which is uh, authorization define access policy for the principal principal mostly is represent the logged in user okay so for a logged in user what kind of things you can do suppose you are admin admin can uh, view the later user view all the users uh, add a new user but uh, for a user uh, it cannot view other users' information. It cannot delete other users. This is uh, the access policy for different uh, logged in user, right? So, authentication, who are you? Okay, authorization, what you can do? Okay, the uh, two things. And uh, <coughs> for Spring Security, okay, when we're using Spring Security and uh, the first example we are giving, which uh, the login page is provided by Spring Security, and uh, also the username password are also the default ones provided by Spring Security. And uh, mostly it's not the case in reality. Okay, and so how can we provide a way for Spring Security to um, uh, check the real username and password? There are many ways to do that, and uh, the one you provide is through the authentication. If you want to config in Spring Security, is from this uh, config method. There are three methods inside this uh, uh, Spring Security configuration files. You can mostly you can override. Okay, the one which you see here is called uh, is for authentication. And this example, I will also give you a demo later. This example is we create in memory user and password. You can create as many as you want, and which is uh, not the real case. Real case, we may need to uh, query database, right? And we'll show you later. Uh, <clears throat> uh, this config method, 
it has a parameter. It's called the Authentication Manager Builder. The reason is uh, when Spring Security trying to do the authentication for us, it will delegate the request to Authentication Manager. And Authentication Manager gonna have an Authenticate method, which will actually be implemented by other class, actually do the authentication for us. So how can we get an authentication manager? Yes, through the authentication manager builder. Uh, for people understand the build pattern, you will know about it. And the authentication manager, uh, oh, sorry, this builder, okay, authentication manager builder, we are according to your configuration to select or to create or to provide uh, correct authentication manager for us okay um, we have in memory authentication we have a gdbc authentication we have a dao authentication so we will show you one by one basically for this video you just need to understand configuration file with uh, oh, sorry this config method with uh, authentication manager builder parameter yes you to configure authentication okay basically yes to tell spring security where to find the username and the password and the authorities or roles for current user okay so this is one uh first okay uh when you have a security configuration make sure you enable that otherwise the spring security cannot find or doesn't know this file is for the web security okay um next one is authorization still uh see here the authentication is called the config but the method uh, method parameter is authentication manager builder okay and for authorization we also through the configuration files to do that okay and uh, this config method is for authorization okay this method and uh, the method signature here it is still called config uh, configure but uh, the method parameter is HTTP security okay and uh, normally the pattern in this method is from authorized request you have the path you declare the path and you declare the role or authority we will explain the role authority later and you can continue declare as many as as many as path you want and as many path as the roles you want okay has any role has all the roles those and uh, here then when we actually access suppose in this example when a user access this slash user this URL then spring security will check current user if it has a role with a user and uh, then if it has a raw user then it will allow the user to access this uh, slash user uh, page and if the logged in user doesn't have a raw user okay then he will um, three exception which is the uh, 403 not authorized to access slash user page okay so basically in this uh, config authorization configure this method you will define lots of a path and uh, this path we are needed to have a role what kind of roles and uh, the suggestion is uh, the order here the order if you have another end uh, another end uh, matcher the u path and the role and uh, continue have end a matcher path and a row so what's the order for that yes uh, from the most uh, uh, strict strict or restrict to the less uh, restrict okay that's the order when you have this kind of patterns declared here Okay, from the most restrict to the less restrict. The restrict. Um, and uh, later on, we will learn how to uh, customize the login page and the log out and access denied and uh, those things. We will all do through this uh, config file. 
uh, oh, sorry, config method. Okay, so here we introduced two, uh, sorry, two configuration files. Spring security mostly you deal with yes the configuration files. Okay, in uh especially in web security, which means that you have a form. Um, if we are using something which is uh, using RESTful application, uh, no, not only we need to configure, we, we need to write other code to do the authentication, which is a return what? Return a, a JSON web token. And when we do uh, login, we, we are needed to check the JWT, which is the JSON web token by ourselves. Okay. So here, <clears throat> Uh, the first part of the topic, we just focus on the form, which is HTTP basic uh, authentication. We use a form and we put our username, password, and we will compare to the um, database and we are to config. Yes, uh, authentication. We are to how Spring Security know find which table and which record is yes, through the config first one and uh, the authorization is still through the configure, uh, configure method, but the parameter is HTTP security, okay? So this is the for overview about authentication and the authorization con uh, configuration to be done in Spring Boot plus Spring Security project. And uh, don't worry, we will have more and more videos talking about uh, authentication and authorization. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.